So how is it that gravity can work over such a wide variety of different distances from fractions of a millimetre to millions of light years, always acting in the same relatively predictable manner or without anything physically appearing to connect all of these distant and disparate objects? One theory revolves around the graviton, a possible massless particle, another with multiple extra dimensions, anywhere up to 20. But these do come with their own issues and problems and don't really provide a complete solution to the problem. One staple of science fiction writers is the phrase that goes something along the lines of such a thing would cause a tear in the fabric of space and time. But what would actually happen if there was something that actually did resemble the fabric of the universe? How would it operate and what effects would we actually notice? Firstly, the stitches in the fabric are going to have to be on the subatomic level in order for the effect they create to be so evenly and predictably distributed across our universe without them being directly detected and observed. Next, these stitches are going to have to be capable of being affected by objects with mass but not damaged by them. So we have a network of subatomic particles very powerfully bonded to each other which don't chemically or any other real way react with the atoms in our universe. When these bonds are near something with mass, it causes these bonds to shorten. The greater the mass, the more the constriction takes place, like pulling on a tablecloth that produces the gravitational effect that we see in the universe all around us. These particles have to form a completely uniform three-dimensional grid spanning out across the whole of our universe that matter could actually pass through. If such subatomic particles were to exist, why actually haven't we found them? Well, because other than the bonds being deformed by mass, they don't change, react or interact with other things on our universe. Being so unreactive, it's difficult actually to see them. Because they're uniformly everywhere in our u observable universe, you wouldn't even notice them by their absence. All that you'd be able to notice is the concentration would be greater around large masses, causing the effects with gravity and time that we've already noticed. After all, things like light is actually only visible when it actually reacts or interacts with something, otherwise it's actually invisible. We're virtually certain that gravity exists throughout our known universe, but there is a slight possibility of an infinite universe. This possible fabric of subatomic particles may not actually then exist everywhere. It may mean that there is an area of space without them, and consequently without gravity, which in turn can create some really unusual phenomena. Our final most difficult question is how would you go about either proving or disproving of the existence of these subatomic particles and more importantly their bonds? Because it would be impossible to isolate these particles, the only real hope of testing for them would be view the kind of the edge of the fabric as it were, and the chances of being able to do that are remote at best. The other way of proving their existence would be down to detecting the bonds between them. It might be possible to find some other subatomic particle to be affected by uh, the bonds and by firing enough of them, observing if they bounce, deflect or reflect off the bonds, you might see them. The technology for this is doing it is well beyond our technology at the moment. As for disproving the existence, it will most likely be found in proving some other source for gravity. All of this is just a wild theory and speculation. It could be totally false, but it could be true.